Hello, and thank you for stopping by at Auto Avenue. If you haven't already, please be sure to join the Auto Avenue Discord server. That way, if you have any car related thoughts, comments, or questions, you can post them there. Also, please be sure to subscribe. It always motivates me to keep producing more videos. In this video, I'll be comparing the 2021 Mercedes Benz C300 Formatic Coupe with the 2021 BMW 430i X Drive Coupe. Starting off with the C300, it has an MSRP of $47,200. The 430i X-Drive Coupe has an MSRP of $47,800. The C300 Coupe has a 2-liter inline 4-cylinder turbocharged engine. This enables the vehicle to kick out 255 horsepower anywhere from 5800 RPM to 6100 RPM and 273 pound-feet of torque anywhere from 1800 RPM to 4000 RPM. The 430i has a 2-liter inline 4-cylinder engine that's twin-turbocharged. This en enables the vehicle to kick out 255 horsepower anywhere from 5,000 RPM to 6,500 RPM and 294 pound-feet of torque anywhere from 1,550 RPM to 4,400 RPM. The C300 has a 9G Tronic 9-speed transmission. On the other hand, the 430i has an 8-speed sport automatic transmission. Both these vehicles have paddle shifters which you could use to manually shift the gears. However, the 430i has launch control. The C300 has a 0 to 60 time of 5.9 seconds. The 430i has a 0 to 60 time of 5.3 seconds, 0.6 seconds faster. The C300 gets 23 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles per gallon on the highway. The 430i gets 23 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon in the highway. The C300 has a curb weight of 3,682 pounds. The 430i has a curb weight of 3,708 pounds. Both cars have 18 inch wheels. When it comes to suspension, the C300 has four wheel independent suspension with four link suspension in the front and five arm multi link suspension in the rear. The 430i has double pivot type front suspension with spring struts and an anti-roll bar. And in the rear, it has five link rear suspension. Moving on to the interior features of these cars, the C300 formatic has features such as a 64 color LED ambient lighting system, a keyless go system, heated front seats for both the driver and the passenger, and power front seats with driver seat memory. Though, if you pay additional money, you can get three position memory for the passenger seat. Also standard is a dual zone automatic climate control system. In addition, you can use the remote to open and close the windows and sunroof. Um, check out my video on the C300 um, if you want to learn how to do that. In addition, you also get an electronic trunk closer. Uh, hands-free access, a garage door opener, and the brake hold feature. Some optional features for the C300 Coupe include ventilated front seats and a heated steering wheel. Moving on to the interior of the 430i X-Drive, you get standard features such as an engine start stop button, a multi-zone automatic climate control system, power front seats with driver seat memory um, that also adjust the mirror positions, uh, automatic dimming rear view mirror, an electronic trunk release, a universal garage door opener, a tilt and telescoping steer wheel, steering wheel column, and rain sensing wipers. Going back to the point about the 430i's memory feature, if you use the key memory feature, then depending on which key you use to unlock the vehicle, the system automatically adjusts the climate control temperature and the air distribution settings as well as the audio tone settings, the radio presets, and the central locking preferences, as well as the ambient lighting preferences. Moving on to safety features, the C300 has features such as an active brake assist system, crosswind assist, blind spot assist, a rear view camera, eight airbags, and a brake assist system. Moving on to the optional safety features for the C300, some features include an active blind spot assist system, uh, evasive steering assist system, active distance assist system, a, a lane keeping assist system, a surround view system, rear cross traffic alert, 
and a parking damage de detector. Some safety features for the 430i include adaptive brake lights, which change their intensity depending on how hard the driver is braking, knee airbags for the driver and the front passenger, a focus assist system, uh, seat mounted front side airbags, a front and rear parking dis distance control system, uh, active blind spot detection system, a lane departure warning system, and an active frontal collision warning system. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.